everybody, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. So I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. So yesterday I was out on a hatching eggs expedition uh, for my incubators and I went through town and there was a Dollar Tree. So I popped in. I'm going to show you what I found. I still haven't been able to find things on my list there, but I did find some things that are on my list and some new things I want to share. So let me uh, just jump in. I'm going to warn you, everyone is home today. So if we have any interruptions, that is why. Okay, so I found these canvas shaped stickers. I only got them in, there were different shapes. You get one sheet by Forever and Time. These are the Forever and Time ones. And... Uh, yeah, so I really like these. Reminded me of butterflies, and I just thought because they're canvas, they'd be really awesome for mixed media water. I had watercolor in mind, but yeah, or the uh, sprays. I remember seeing circles and some other shapes, but again, I just got this. So uh, Dollar Tree in Canada, most things are still a dollar twenty-five, except all food, which I didn't buy any food. So the food's all up to $1.50, but checking my receipt here, there's no $1.50s. I thought I checked. So everything I got was still $1.25. I got uh, this. I love the scent of rose. I Not everyone does, but I do. So they had this. It's, by, it's called Hands. I don't know. I think it's just a Dollar Tree brand. This is made in Canada, though. Wow. Made in Brampton. Nice. Um, anyway... Well, that's good to know. I do like stuff. Some things are made in China, uh, which I won't buy there. Um, most of these are made in the U.S., though. Um, anyway, it doesn't matter. But I love rose scent, so I got that one. Yeah, so then I love this Alibi soap. And they had it in green apple this time. And my boys and I love that scent. So I got three in the green apple scent i got this silicone facial brush but i got it for the craft room so i was able to find one i was happy after seeing you guys haul them so i got one of those and okay i'm just trying to sort of maintain some order <laughs> uh, i got an eyeshadow elf c brush it's called and I like the thickness. I like that thickness for blending up here. Not that I have any on, but yeah. Okay, so that. And I think oh, a few more things in the beauty department. I found this huge bag of, it's called Americano Coffee Body Scrub. And yes, you can make your own coffee body scrub, but this was $1.25, okay? If you buy your own coffee to make this, gonna cost you a lot more trust me um, I used to make it and mix it with coconut oil and for you get 500 grams yeah you wouldn't get this for dollar 25 using your own coffee I'd rather drink my own coffee and yeah so I wanted to try that especially with um, this the spring coming I'd like to get some exfoliating done and get the dry skin I'm really bad right in here right now but yeah that's for your whole body so that's that now I found some of the uh, uh, I want to say Cricut but there's silhouettes there's all kinds of electronic uh, die cut cutting or cutting machines but anyway I found the so finally found some of the crafters square vinyl paper these are the colors I were to find I found I can't talk anymore when I record so blue found it in yellow uh, I found it in red very primary colors for me <laughs> that I found and I found I just grabbed one of the transfer tapes I just wanted to see how theirs are the you can also use the uh, shelf liner in the back it works just as well but anyway I wanted to try this one just to see how it performs um, they had some of the flat sheets but again they were just in these primary very primary colors 
and they're I mean I could have got a green but I don't know I have rolls of actual Cricut vinyl and then I use an online source so I didn't get but I can't find the ones that I've seen some of you guys haul with the flowers and those pretty ones oh there was a wood cut shape but I don't want that but some of the really pretty ones I did not see in the flat sheets so yeah I didn't get and then what else okay let's go to stickers and rub-ons okay I'm trying really hard not to buy stickers just for the sake of buying but I do have things in mind with certain stickers I did buy um, so yeah so I have some um, nautical themed paper and wood cuts that I'd like to use these stickers with and we have a family member who loves lighthouses so I was thinking of coming up with something for her yeah so I really like these nautical stickers and they'd also make great Father's Day you know I just thought they were perfect I got these rub-on transfers and I just thought they were so beautiful hello summer yeah so I got them for a friend so yeah I wonder who if she already has them I'll just keep them but had her in mind I got more of these in the white because I said last time I only got one pack but I was again thinking these ones you can make any color so yeah I got another pack I got another pack for a friend down in the States who can't find these and she loved these colors so I got you some then I love these stickers here and I have many well I don't know how many I have left but I have had many sets and I don't have this one and I love these I love making tags with these and making these all vintage and everything this one's my favorite but yeah I hadn't seen that one in my collection of these I usually if I use them I restock them because I love these they make great cards too and then I know last time anyway no maybe I didn't get these last time no I didn't anyway I found those are they beautiful I found the hangers and I think I got two packs I was going to get four and put two back but I have ideas for the hangers are they adorable and then the thank you with the fence I liked it more for the fence I remember seeing these the last time I was in I didn't really like the thank you but I'm like you can cover that up Don <laughs> so I got them then I found the laminated poly pouches uh, so in the bigger bag which is four basically by six inches basically a little bit over and uh, you get eight in the big one I don't have the silver or the gold in that size so I got the gold they had no silver I would have got it I do have the silver in the three by almost five I guess uh, but I didn't have it in the gold so I got those uh, back to the Cricut here I'm trying to be all in order and I'm not oh okay let's go back here I got two of the vinyl transfers I guess then I got these so when I got my Cricut so I tried to go fast here I guys I can't when I got so I had the original six inch Cricut I forget what it was called then I went to the 12, 12 inch Cricut expression I still have that because if any of you have followed me for a while you'll know uh, my husband found the port in the back and he's like there is totally got to be an online way <laughs> I'm married to an engineer I don't know if you guys know this but he can figure anything out it's hilarious so anyway he's looking at it and uh, he's like yeah there's got to be an online way so he did some research which any engineers do mine's a mechanical engineer but they do all they all research trust me and found out that there was a program called Sir Cuts a lot and it was by Provocraft though so he bought me the program and then you can get SVG files. So I have never needed a new Cricut because I can get anything off the internet. Now it doesn't have design space, but you can use your own, you can use Circuits a lot to make your own design space. Based, not, it's not Cricuts. But anyway, long story short, Cricut sued Provocraft over this. And anybody who already has it, we can still use it, but you can't get it anymore, which 
since then Cricut has made their own, right? Anyway, but the new Cricuts, I believe come with some of these tools. Mine never did. Now I do have the actual Cricut, one of these, I bought one of these in the States years ago, this cross spatula, but I wanted to get another one. This one's a little bit longer than mine and more narrow. Um, I don't really want this for uh, vinyl stuff anyway. I use my Cricut one for that stuff. I wanted this one more for other craft room things. Now, my, I think when I was there, they had this in a blue tip and a pink tip. I just got white. Then I got the craft picker. I have wanted one of these. Every time I go to Michael's, I'm like a him and haw, but I always find Cricut, you can't, their products, you can never use your 30% off coupons. So uh, yeah, so I got a picker from Dollar Tree, saved me a pile of money. We'll see how it performs, but I'm sure it's fine for the price. And then I got the craft scraper and I've been wanting one of these for a while. I have some Pampered Chef ones up in the kitchen. I often will run up and grab one of them if I need it in the craft room. This now I can just keep this in the craft room. So I got that and I want to see how it, yeah, it says applies materials in clean large areas. Probably good for Mod Podge. And anyway, we'll see. Anyway, I got it and I also was thinking like I will eventually want to get a jelly plate. I was thinking this would be good to move, uh, I know there's briars, but to do, to pull some paint off, I was thinking. I got some more of these. And then I got some finger protectors. I have lots in the craft room. I actually got these for my gel nails. Uh, to put the remover on and then you just stick your finger in them. I know you can use tin foil and gel moment sells these, them crazy expensive. So I got these for my nails. And I also already have an open pack plus in the craft room. So I just got two because that'll cover the 10. I have enough. Then I got, I think the last craft room or no. Yeah. For the crafty thing, I found these pearl beads and I loved, I, I have pearl beads, but these are wide holes. So they will fit on the pens. Really awesome. So I was thinking for fillers. Yeah. So it doesn't say how many you get, but you get 19 grams so I thought that was good so I got two packs of those then I got this I got it in the green the darker crushed glass I love this crushed glass stuff I love it I want it in all the colors so whenever I see a color that I don't have yet I get it so good for mixed media fairy gardens everything I love it and I got it in this lighter green so these are the two tones I have that I, ha I don't have these colors yet so I got those then I got okay where am I at here oh no I have first crafty stuff Garrett. sorry guys I just got some Easter grass in the green and yellow then I found this ribbon you guys oh it's so cool I don't need any more ribbon we all know that but I can't stop buying it I have stopped buying washi probably will unless it's a peacock or a chicken on it <laughs> for now until I use up some of my washi but I'm still buying ribbon I love ribbon so I'm not going to say I'm not going to buy ribbon because I can't stop so check it out plus this one so I got this one for something in mind so that's the llama they had other llama and cacti ones but yeah you'll see why I got this shortly then the animal ones. So I got, these are cats and they're, it's like gold. It's, I love this blue and then little fish. So they're, they're there. There's the cats. Then they had another one with cats. Okay. And this all coordinates you guys. So, okay. Then they had, okay, where am I at? Dogs. More dogs. Not my dogs, but dogs. I thought these would make beautiful tassels. Then, okay, where are we at here? Then they had gold and white, sorry, gold dog bones on white rickrack. Not rickrack, sorry. 
grass grass green sorry and then the bone the bowl and the paws and then I got okay so these are all the animals okay cats and dog team then all of these coordinate with them okay so look at they all coordinate so I thought they'd be so awesome for tassels and pet related projects so I got it in this is just called satin ribbon and I got it in like this like a gold tone and then in black and again, I probably have these colors, but I wanted it all in the same width, same everything. That one, that for the cats, that blue, isn't this gorgeous? Then this off-white, and then in the silver. Now, the ribbon I'm after is the, that, um, it's like a lace ribbon that they have it in a, pa it's hanging on a hook like this. I couldn't find that, and I still can't find all those vintage stickers that Tina gave me some. So I'm just going to put this back in the box. Then I got this, you guys, for a project in mind. I will be sharing it. So, um, oh, yeah. Okay, so I got the unicorn headband and the unicorn skirt. So it's a little costume. Isn't that so cute? Oh, it's not going to fit me, though. And then check this out. Socks. I think that's my hand. I'm trying to get these matching socks. So that's for a project. Then they had, now, this is going back a while, but, and I only ever remember finding it in the States, but I loved it. They had vintage gums there. And they had blackjack and Beeman's. So I got those, and then they had one other one in the bottom called clove, but they were sold out, which that one would have been a cinnamon. Oh, I'm so sad I couldn't get it. Yes, these are crazy expensive, $1.25, because you only get about five pieces, but it was just the nostalgia of these. I had to get them. I meant to put them in my purse and forgot. And then lastly, like, you guys, I'm so excited. Fairy garden people, you're gonna be excited. Okay, they have beach themed fairy garden stuff you guys I am so excited so they have this little beach house and it is so cool I can't can't see what's on the door I thought it was a star but I think it's just like anyway look at this and it's in the sand they got a canoe paddle a shell or a paddle a boogie board, whatever you know what I mean surfboard whatever stand up board look at that oh my gosh then they have the car with the board and the ring boy or the floaty on top and it's like a Volkswagen bug. Oh my gosh, you guys. So excited. Then, now I only got one set. Because I'm going to make something for my parents' cottage with this. Then I got two beach chairs. Are they adorable? Oh my gosh. And they're in the sand. So I'm going to do like a, yeah. Anyway, then they had these houses. Look at the seashell house. Now, this won't match the whole cottage theme, but... You know, I'm going to do something with them. I could not leave those behind. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Now this one I am going to do something, for, like I said, for my parents' cottage. And then they had this one, you guys, look at. So like these ones would be so cute to do like a, for a little girl or a mermaid theme. Oh, I love these shell houses. Now the beach house totally is the cottage. Then they have a little sailboat that you can put out on water love it and then i got the umbrella again it's in the sand i just love this set so much and then i got again this one's more for tropical but i don't care i had to get it the palm trees with the flip-flops hanging up on the clothesline so adorable now they did have and it looks like rainbow uh, it all matches this set and it looks like it's a path but you know how the Dollar Tree makes those paths I didn't want it because I what I have in my mind to do I don't need those but just so you know they're out there so I was so excited to get these so yeah I will share I will share and that wraps up Dollar Tree you guys so yeah I can't wait to make a beach themed like I love this so cute all right Thanks for watching everybody and I will see you all in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.